You notice three-digit airport codes that appear on your bag tag on your boarding pass? Have you ever wondered where they came from? You see, I grew up in the airline business. My whole family was in the industry. To me, each little code's a little piece of history. So for the next 300 seconds, I want to share with you some of those stories. You see, in 1903, there were no airports. And it wasn't until the Wright Brothers' first flight that commercial aviation was born. To this day, the, the National Park Service maintains small airport outside of Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. The city code is FFA, First Flight Airstrip. The International Air Transport Association keeps track of nearly 4,000 airports worldwide. Resolution 763 outlines the rules for location IDs, and the airline coding directory is published twice a year, on June 1st and on December 1st. The National Weather Service maintains weather stations at the sites of present-day airports. However, there are only two-digit codes. So early on, airports just added an X to their existing weather designator. That's how Phoenix got the code of PHX. The National Air Coding Directory says that, when possible, airports must use the first three letters of the city name in their airport code. However, due to restrictions, that's not always possible. And when two, uh, two metropolitan areas are served by the same airport, both city names are represented. Some letters are not available for use. K and W are used by radio stations, and the Navy uses all the N letters. Zebra Charlie X-ray is not even an airport at all, but it's the National Weather Transportation Center in Washington, D.C. The Canadians use all the Y codes. If you know something about geography of the area, then city codes start to make sense. New Orleans code of MSY stands for the Moisant Stockyards. And when you're flying into Cincinnati, Ohio, you're actually landing in Covington, Kentucky. You're not even in Ohio at all. <laughs> with the Navy using all the N letters, just drop the, le the cities that begin with the letter N have a little problem on their hands. Just drop the letter N, use the next three letters, and you, have, you know why Newark, New Jersey, EWR. The 200-mile rule states that when two airports are in close proximity of each other, they can only share a single character. Therefore, the original airport in Houston is HOU, and the newer intercontinental terminal is IAH. Similar idea in DC, where DCA is the District of Columbia Airport, and the newer Dulles International Airport was going to be DIA. So to avoid confusion, we flip DIA around, and we get Dulles' current city code of IAD. The rock band Rush is from Toronto, Canada. They do a tribute to their hometown that starts like this. Da -da 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 -da. That's the VOR outside the Toronto airport, broadcasting in Morse code the letters YYZ, the city code for Toronto. <laughs> in the 1950s, Kansas City built the Mid-Continent International, but later on they changed their minds because they felt that MCI didn't properly identify with Kansas City. So they tried to change the code to MKC. Unfortunately, the navigational charts had already been published, so they were stuck with it. It's popular to use the names of pilots, some of who crashed at airports. In 19... <laughs> That's right. This one pilot crashed outside of Orlando. He missed the population below, and so now they named the airport after him, MCO. The Idlewild Airport in New York is called IDL. It's named after a golf course. But in an unusual example of airports changing city codes, IDL changed their code to JFK on December 24, 1963, after President Kennedy was assassinated. The city code for Sioux City, Iowa is SUX. <laughs> I know. The mayor tried to petition IATA for a new set of codes, but the codes they gave him were not any good. So they had an image problem on their hands, right? Now, we're all marketing and PR people, are we not? Okay, now what do marketing people do when they have an image problem on their hands? They try to monetize their unique opportunity. They take advantage of the situation and they make lemonade out of lemons. I love it. Here's some of the items for sale in the Sioux City gift shop and available online at SiouxCityGifts.com. I want that mug. Here's some more interesting airports. If you fly into Sudan, you fly into the dog. If you're looking for a cat, you have to go to the Bahamas. And everybody knows when you're looking for pot, where do you go? <laughs> Jamaica, man! Go to Jamaica! This is Butch O'Hare, who the Chicago airport was named after. But ORD is not an abbreviation of Butch's name. Instead, it's named after the community of Orchard Park, Douglas Field. Now, in the 1940s, Douglas Field was the place where the military house captured an experimental military aircraft. The next time you fly, I hope you take a second look at your bag tag. Where are you from? What's the history of the airport you call home? Let me know. Or better yet, we'll find out together. Thanks for flying. <laughs>